Well, 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 things that happen at work. It appears that uh, my request has been granted. I can go back to three days a week. Uh, they haven't actually decided what days yet, but I can go back three days a week. But it's funny because uh, <laughs> we're going from the uh, main manager leaving and... Uh, like effectively they call him the materials manager but he's like the warehouse manager to the whole bloody ship starting to friggin <laughs> sink and there's people jumping left right and centre uh, quite intriguingly one of the main salesmen there's only a few salesmen but this guy's uh, you know bought in truckloads of work for him well literally truckloads He's decided he's going in three weeks' time. A uh, mate of mine who I usually work with, I get on quite well with, he's an Islander man. He uh, applied for one job and, uh, well, it was actually with uh, a member of his extended family and he wanted to um, <laughs> hold off on it for two weeks so he could give two weeks' notice to the company. And they turned around and said, we're going to get on with this job and they gave the job to another person and he was very disappointed because it was quite a good job and uh, quite a high paying job uh, and I told him look you shouldn't be concerned about giving notice to the point that you're more obsessed with tying up the loose ends in your old job that you sacrifice your new job I said it's stupid you know, oh, but what about my holiday pay? He had something like about 12 hours worth of holiday pay. I said, bugger your 12 hours of holiday pay. You don't want to friggin' miss this opportunity. Yeah, but, but he did. Lo and behold, he's gone and got himself another job only a few days later. <laughs> so he'll be starting in a week's time at that one. And... Um, so we've had the main manager say he's leaving, and then there's been a salesman leaving, and then there's uh, well, the guy I work with leaving, and uh, most likely going to end up doing a lot more fork forklift work like I used to, um, and probably take his place on the forklift while I train somebody else to do more of the on-the-ground stuff that I used to do. Um, and... Uh, there's another guy who, oh, he hasn't been there long. He's only been there a couple of weeks, and I tell you what, this guy is a danger to himself. He's a Muslim. He prays every morning. He's from East Africa. He prays every morning to Allah that he won't get squashed at work, and then you see some of the stupid shit he does, like get in between things that are being put down by a forklift like something I had that was 1.8 tonne that was coming down and you know he needlessly got in between that and another stack of the same thing and it's like holy smoke dude what are you doing you know another time I was uh, playing with one of these same things and like I had to line it up and I got one side lined up and it, you know this is 40 foot long this bloody thing so I got one side lined up and due to the angle of the ground I had to go to the other side and pick the other side up and move that you know move each side separately and as I'm moving the other side he decides that he's seen something underneath it that he thinks he should be taken out which he should but dude not while well, I got half of this 1.8 ton thing in the air like honestly cop me. He's claimed that he'll, well, every day he claims he loves the joint and then by the afternoon he friggin' hates the joint and he's going to leave. Well, so, you know, it changes all the time. And uh, he's claimed multiple times that if this Islander guy I work with leaves, then he's gone. But I think he'll be going whether he wants to go or not. Because <laughs> he's that sort of a worker some days. Oh, man. You've got to really question someone who doesn't know how to spell wire cage who needs a calculator to work out 38 plus 2. <laughs> I don't know how the fuck these guys got through school. I really don't. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't end there. There's another guy who's an Italian guy who had a little shortened afternoon because he had to go do something, which was 
some bullshit story, and the reality was he told me later that he was actually going to a job interview. So it looks like the Italian is getting ready to go. Uh, <laughs> after he's been told that in two weeks he's going to be permanent. And apparently in two weeks' time I would have been permanent if I hadn't marked for three days a week. Oh, Link, you should have gone, oh, now you missed your opportunity. It's not an opportunity to be permanent at this joint. It's more of an obligation than an opportunity. The reality of the situation is they're paying <laughs> not enough, probably $8 an hour less than some other places where they expect less of you. And, uh, yeah, these things are starting to bite the company because any good people move on. And, uh, well, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. And then you're left with a bunch of people who can't write four-letter words without spelling them incorrectly and need calculators for minor tasks and, oh, I don't know, take... You're not supposed to have mobile phones in there. You're not supposed to have cell phones. This guy, when I was working with him, takes three calls in one afternoon. I'm like, oh, shit, dude. Can we get on with the fucking job here? You know, honestly. But anyway, it seems as though a lot of people are running as quick as they can and I don't suppose it'll be too long before the Italian gets himself a job and I shit you not when it comes to work outside the office that will actually make me number three that'll make me the third most knowledgeable person who's not an office based person the people who are in the yard I'll be the third longest serving and the third most knowledgeable that's pretty alarming for a guy who's only going to have been there about a year. Third longest serving out in the yard. <laughs> and as a result, third most knowledgeable after only a year. Holy smackaroons. Yeah. It's one of them joints. Anyway, I don't mind because, uh, you know, it's either that or... I'm, I'm not in the mood to learn a whole new workplace and a whole new set of people and circumstances and situations uh, when I'm looking to move my life in other directions that still require me to hold a job uh, so I can uh, keep the wheels turning. So anyway, I'm staying, regardless of all the other rats jumping off the sinking ship and uh, yeah